I asked ChatGPT a very important question about January 6th, something that I thought would be easy, something we could all agree upon. But as we know, the story around 1-6 is actually quite complicated. So complicated, in fact, it's hard for even an artificial intelligence to understand the official narrative. So let's see if we can set the record straight, because after all, we lived through what Joe Biden called the worst attack on American democracy since the Civil War. 100 days since I took the oath of office and lifted my hand off our family Bible and inherited a nation, we all did, that was in crisis. The worst pandemic in a century, the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. Maybe he forgot about Pearl Harbor and 9-11, those little events, or not. Maybe in his worldview, 1-6 really was worse than both of those. Maybe I was missing something? So I had to ask ChatGPT, you know, since 1-6 was so bad, how many people died on January 6th? Now, if you've been a follower of this channel, you know the answer. We've talked a lot about January 6th here, and we know all about people like Benjamin Phillips, a 50-year-old man from Ringtown, Pennsylvania, who died of a stroke near the U.S. Capitol grounds during the events of January 6th. Kevin Greeson, a 55-year-old man from Athens, Alabama, he suffered a heart attack outside the Capitol on 1-6. Roseanne Boyland, a 34-year-old woman from Kennesaw, Georgia. Her family believes she was trampled to death, and we've seen videos of what looks like her being beaten by officers. However, the medical examiner's office in Washington, D.C. has not released an official cause of death for Boyland. Of course, we also have Ashley Babbitt, a 35-year-old Air Force veteran from San Diego, California. She was shot and killed without any warning by a Capitol Police officer while attempting to enter the Speaker's lobby of the House of Representatives. So if we add all that up, the answer is four, right? Pretty simple. Benjamin, Kevin, Roseanne, Ashley, easy. Four, right? Wrong. According to ChatGPT, the answer is five. What? Who'd we miss? Who could it possibly be that's not on our list? That's right, you know who. Brian Sicknick. ChatGPT explained. It said, on January 6, 2021, a violent mob stormed the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C. During the course of the events, a total of five people died. One person, Ashley Babbitt, was shot by a Capitol Police officer. Three others died due to medical emergencies. And one Capitol Police officer, Brian Sicknick, died from injuries sustained during the attack died from injury sustained during the attack? What? You mean the Capitol Hill police officer who got a pseudo state funeral was held up along with other DC police as saviors of American democracy, protecting us all from the very serious horrors of a minor four hour riot? Yeah, ChatGPT said he was in fact one of the people killed on January 6th. But we've talked a lot about Brian Sicknick's death here, and that's not true. In fact, the coroner's report said Brian Sicknick died the following day, more than 24 hours after the riot had ended. Compare this to the others who died on exactly the day of January 6th, which is really what I asked ChatGPT. One obvious example would be Ashley Babbitt. She, of course, died of a bullet wound to the chest on the floor inside Congress on January 6th. Unlike her, being shot or being beaten like Roseanne Boylan was, according to the coroner's report, Brian Sicknick died of natural causes, their quote, involving two strokes. The report also ruled out the fake news reports and the widespread hoaxes that lied about Brian. They said he was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher or sprayed with a chemical irritant. None of that was true. This was reported and copied and pasted all throughout the media. So why? If Brian Sicknick died of natural causes involving two strokes the day after the riots on January 7th, did ChatGPT tell us that he died on the 6th? Hmm. I asked ChatGPT, did you see Brian Sicknick's coroner's report? And ChatGPT responded, telling me, as an artificial intelligence language model, I do not have the capability to see or access specific documents or reports unless they've been publicly released and made available online. However, ChatGPT says, I am aware 
that the death of Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick was investigated by the Washington, D.C. Medical Examiner's Office, and the cause of his death was determined to be acute brain stem and cerebellar infarcts due to acute basilar artery thrombosis, also known as a stroke. The medical examiner's office, according to ChatGPT, ruled his death to be, quote, a natural one, meaning it was not caused by any external force or injury sustained during the events of January 6. One more time on that, meaning it was not caused by any external force or injury sustained during the events of January 6. Perfect, that's exactly my point. It was natural and not caused by January 6th at all. End of discussion, right? Nothing else to see here. I'm going to use my lawyer foo and I'm going to turn back to ChatGPT and ask it a leading question. Dear ChatGPT, so then you would agree with me that Brian Sicknick did not die on January 6th, right? ChatGPT responds. While it is true that Officer Brian Sicknick's cause of death was determined to be natural and not directly related to any injuries sustained during the events on 1-6, okay, it is still generally accepted that he was involved in the response to the riot and suffered injuries while on duty. Additionally, the violent events on the day contributed to the overall stress and trauma experienced by law enforcement personnel who were present. ChatGPT continues saying, it is important to note that while the cause of Officer Sicknick's death was determined to be natural, his death is still considered to be connected to the events of 1-6 due to his involvement in the response and the overall impact of the riot on those who were present. So ChatGPT agrees with me. Sicknick's cause of death was stroke, specifically in two parts of the brain. The official cause of death was ruled to be a natural one, meaning it was not caused by any external forces or any injury sustained during the events of January 6th. All of this was confirmed by the DC Medical Examiner's Office, and Brian Sicknick died on January 7th, sometime around 9.30 Eastern time at night. But still, Somehow, he was there on January 6th, and therefore, he died on January 6th. That's according to ChatGPT. Okay, be careful with those AIs, my friends. They are very sneaky indeed. Instead, why don't you consider connecting with other human beings on our private Telegram group, which is our persistent chat that continues on before and after our streams. Become a member today to get access to the Telegram link and other exclusive member-only content, like exclusive live streams and posts, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside and, of course, right back here on the next one.